That video, we just got it last night. It shows a crash two weeks before the little girls were killed. According to police, the car in the earlier crash is the same car which later hit those girls, and they say the person driving in both crashes was Daytuan Robinson. What's your first name? Daytuan. Daytuan Robinson had just been in a crash October 6th near 14th and Keith. His Saturn Aura took the brunt of the damage. Please don't tell me you got the Saturn. Yes. Yeah, you're messed up. Right. Records show this is the same car which would use a bike lane two and a half weeks later to run a red light and slam through a group of children crossing the street. Two of those children died. The driver kept going. Police used a car part left at the scene to identify the suspect car as a gray Saturn Aura. And that part had black duct tape on it. When police gave 12 News a description of the vehicle, a tipster told investigators the day before the deadly crash, Robinson posted an ad on Facebook selling his Saturn Aura, which court records claim had black duct tape in the same area of the part police found. Investigators then reviewed their records and found Robinson's crash from October 6th. According to police, the body cam video from the earlier crash shows Robinson's Saturn with the same section covered in black tape. And shortly after the deadly crash, police found Robinson's car. A front end damaged gray Saturn that they were pulling into the driveway over there. When they put the recovered car part next to Robinson's car, records show they found it to be an exact match. The video helping in that case. So what other connections did investigators make? Joyce, police say data shows Robinson's cell phone was actually at the scene of that deadly crash when it happened.